Hey everyone, Sam McKay here. Now, I just want to show you some really cool ideas around drill through and how you can use this effectively in your own reports. Now, this is a report submitted by uh, Melissa, one of um, the enterprise DNA experts in a recent Power BI challenge. Now, I've actually done a video on this previously where I sort of called out how good this report was, just saying it's sort of one of the best sort of reporting applications I think I've 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 ever sort of played around with in Power BI just just due to the simplicity of it visually and for, um, in the consumption experience but all of the great stuff that's going and uh, going on and behind the scenes now I did a sort of broad overview of like the good things implemented in there but I really want to like drill down into this drill through how how you actually implement this drill drill through feature and the great thing about it is it's actually not that difficult to do within power bi but it can be so compelling from a consumer experience right so this challenge was about an optical data set um and we had um all of the appointments a customer like it was broken down by customer right so it was sort of like patient information and we wanted to just run some analysis um off the back of that now what we have here is um, like a, what 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 Melissa has called the client action center. So the stakeholders wanted to know um, wanted an application that they where they could find out all of the key information about a particular customer, right? Uh, or just sort of aggregate up all of the um, most important follow ups, uh, most important uh, future appointments, uh, so on and so forth, right? Based on a based on a, a quite a bit of logic. Now. It's great to have a page initially within your report, and that's why this is this is so great. That sort of summarizes all those key things for a stakeholder, right? So they can they can jump into you know what what have we got here? Every you know any sort of time period you want, say, I don't know. Let's go, um, you know, let's go look at this particular time. I mean, this in itself is a, is an interesting technique. Um, let's see if we can get something interesting. Maybe it's because the date. In here doesn't doesn't work is is not actually that accurate but that's okay doesn't matter um okay let's just like jump to say a different segment here so over 55 okay so but what we want to do what, what if we want to learn more about a particular customer right so that's where this drill through comes in so what we've got here uh is, is within this table you can say um, click on a particular customer or you can right click right and this is I'm in I'm in Power BI desktop here you can do exactly the same thing if you were on um, you know you're you're on the online service or in a web, looking at this on the web it's exactly the same and you could go to drill through right and then there's a page here called client details now this page is down the bottom here client details uh, let's just click to that so say for instance we're looking at this particular customer I'm going to drill through into those client details right and then this is actually giving us a breakdown, a really simple breakdown of all of the details of a client, uh, all of their history around their eye exams, and then a nice little breakdown here. And this is the, this is represented in just a really compelling way. It's, it looks simple, right? But it, there, there is actually like quite a lot of interesting things going on in the background here. Now, how did we create this? Well, all we needed to do in this particular um, page, right? This is this is at a, at a page level. Uh, we we have this drill through section if we just select the oh, you know the the actual page itself so we're, we're not selected on any visual here and we have this drill through section all we need to do is add the client name here right if we want this to always be filtered on only one client because you'll see here there's no there's there is actually no way for me to filter anything within this page the only way we can filter something in this page is by using the drill through and so we have our client and then the drill through is automatically picking up what we're actually drilling through from this particular table over here right so we can choose another person i can come in and right click here and i can go drill through now it's the, the amazing thing is this is this is not difficult this is seriously not difficult to create it just takes a little bit of creativity around how you want to actually set up your report and so it's it, you know um, even even it's creative um it, it's sort of get, got my creative juices flowing because usually you just default to sort of putting some filter in a re, in a report page right but if you take a step back and you can think okay well how could a consumer really use this effectively as like a, a as like a you know an application an application they might be using on a day-to-day -day basis when someone calls up you know the the ease of which someone could come in here 
potentially and you know look for a name uh you know look for a particular client like this way right by using this drop down if it would work doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to be working while I'm, while I'm demonstrating this but anyway um you know it's just easy for someone to come in like the the big part about this sort of brief to the challenge was making sure that we weren't missing any patients who needed a who needed a follow up or something like that right so what we had here is you know, we, we had a list of people who we needed to reschedule, right? And so what you could do is you could come along here, you could drill through to that particular client or patient, you could find out all the details, maybe you might have their phone number, you could then give them a call, then you have all their history of, of what, what they've done before, um, easy to access, right? And all we had to do was add this client to this particular drill through page and just think about how we wanted to structure the consumption of our report by a, by a user, okay? Now the last thing I want to call out here, which is also super cool, is um, this addition. This where it says seed table visual header tooltip for drill through instructions to client details. Because if you're say a novice user of this particular report, it doesn't actually call, like nothing calls out to you right to actually use that drill through, does it? And because this page is actually hidden, you see here that it's actually hidden. Someone wouldn't actually. You know, if you were actually in the online service, if you're viewing this on the web, you wouldn't see this page. Like I, I can click to it here because I'm in Power BI Desktop, but you can't do that if you're not, right? And so what Melissa has also done is within this particular table visual, she's added this question mark with a circle and a GIF in it, like a tooltip GIF to show you how to actually drill through. Now that is pretty cool, right? That is pretty, pretty. That is pretty epic. Um, so if someone was you know, brand new to this and they wanted to know, well, how can I find the customer details? Well, they can see here. This, there's a clear label saying "Go to the visual header tooltip," and then if you come up here, you can actually see exactly how how it's done. Okay. So how does how does how how is this actually done? So I click into the table visual. Right down the bottom in the formatting section, you have this visual uh, visual header tooltip. Sorry visual header tooltip and you can actually uh, embed a tooltip page into the visual, visual header tooltip and so this particular report page is called the tooltip gif and you see that this this is actually a, a tooltip page down the bottom here um, and so if I click on this this is this is obviously a key part so this is just you connecting it up to this particular visual but what you need to do here is you need to create a page which is a well, this looks like it's actually custom, which is quite interesting. It's interesting that it doesn't have to actually be tooltip, but it's been made custom. And then within the page background, there is a GIF image embedded into the background. <laughs> isn't isn't that isn't that cool? That is, I mean, this is something I've never done before, and but is such good value add, right, to the just to the application experience. And it, and it just shows you how far you can take your Power BI reports. It's just amazing. It is truly, truly amazing. And I just can't commend um, Lish enough for these small little things, which really add up to, to something um, quite fantastic in, in terms of a, a reporting application that someone would literally pay a lot of money, a lot of money for, in my view. So, you know, you've got really nice setup, obviously, here, which is, you know, the, this, this sorting technique, which I, which I, I highlighted the last time um, I created a video on this. But also the fact that you can, you know, do a simple right click and then see all the client details really simply with that simple uh, drill through functionality, um, and then also, you know, there's this also the the um, the ease in which you can sort of navigate around uh, around here as well, um, just with some of the icons etc. that have been that have been inserted. So overall navigation experience, um, just really high quality. And that's a big part of Power BI report development now, right, is the navigation experience. It's not about just putting a few visuals here and a few visuals here and a table here. It's about how do you build this application like n these navigation features into your reporting application, your analytical solution, because that's what's going to keep people really, really engaged, right? So definitely steal from these ideas. Definitely do that. You know, that's this a big part of, um, you know, if you're getting involved in, in the Power BI challenge that we're that we're holding, you know, you'll learn so, so, so many of these things. And we're already seeing, you know, we're on the sixth iteration now, I think. Uh, and we're already seeing just mass improvement by all those getting involved. And, um, you know, there's a lot of experts now within our community who are just offering just 
huge value right um just so many different perspectives on how you can analyze things in multiple different ways and that diversity of thought that diversity of experience is just adding huge amounts to the value of our community the value of getting involved and um, and joining up with us okay so definitely keep that in mind um you know can't 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 you know, highlight that enough just the, the the benefits of getting involved in these challenges and and with the rest of our um community okay Take care, everyone. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed learning about that one. Uh, learning about this, I mean, you know, I, I personally myself went through um, some learnings around how I can do things better in the future, and I'm going to apply them as soon as I can. And I really recommend that you do that as well. Okay, definitely throw this video a like if you um, got a lot out of it. Really appreciate it as always. And don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Heaps of um, really good content I've got coming out uh, very very soon so wants you to view that as uh, as soon as it's released okay take care everyone see ya